Hello, I'm Ron Clark. Today we're going to start working with the gates. Now, the, what we've done in the past here have been the individual paths. Those are gates too. They're the type of gates I call linear gates. They're just a single path to Sephiroth, a single path. Then there are the triangular gates, which are three Sephiroth, three paths. The quadrangular gates, which are four Sephiroth, four paths. The pentangular, which are five Sephiroth, five paths. And the hexangle, which are, of course, six Sephiroth and six paths. Now, these are different than, than working the linear paths. Here it is more um, an adventure. Um, yeah, uh, it's hard to explain the difference, but it's much more involved. There's more of a, a lesson to be learned from the experience of a gate versus a path. So, the first gate today is the first of the triangular gates. There are 54 triangular gates, uh, 36 linear gates. Um, and it's the, the gate um, that takes the top triangle of the Tree of Life. We have um, we, the gate, the sequence, rather, of the gate goes from Hokma to Bina via Shin, and then from Bina to Kether via Tav, and then Kether to Hokma via He. And then it's a reverse. Hakma to Kather via He, uh, Kather to Bina via Vav, and Bina to Hakma via Shin. So it's a movement along the gate and then a reverse movement. And doing both is essential to working a gate because they both give a slightly different perspective on what's happening. The idea of working a gate is that you are integrating all of the Sephirot and all of those paths together as a unit as opposed to separate paths um, it's sep not quite separate legs of a journey but it is a journey as a whole so we will get started I'm going to use this new gate maker that I just made for this series of videos um, we will be doing one type of path or one type of gate rather in each video today's a triangular the next one's going to be the quadrangular, etc. So, using a gate maker. Now, what I do with the gate maker is I punch, push energy into the spheres, the crystal spheres that I'm going to be working with on the gate maker. So I do Kether, Hokma, and Bina in this case. And the advantage of a gate maker is the territory is already laid out. There is a very spatial orientation to a gate maker that's very helpful in working the gate. So you don't get lost, etc. Because like working a, a, a hexangular gate is a very involved process. Six different paths, six different sephira. you got to keep track of where you're going. And this spatial orientation in the tree is very helpful with that. So, I energize the Kether crystal, the Hakma crystal, and the Bina crystal. And I can see that there's this lovely gate formed here. The connections between the Sephirot are here in front of me. And so then I shift my awareness into the, the Sephirot I'm starting with and begin my journey. It's that simple. So... Let me begin here. There's energy in the Kather crystal. Energy in the Chokma crystal. And energy in the Bina crystal. Now I'm using the Kather brilliance for that. So, I transfer my awareness to the Chokma crystal. Oh, I'm in Chokma. I look around and Hawkma and this essential meaning everywhere. It's just all essential meaning. It's all of essential meaning. 
and it's all of the essential meanings. It's a whole that is essential meaning, and it is particulate. There's an infinite number of little essential meanings floating around me, all different colors. It's very visual experience here of essential meanings. Mm -hmm. And I look over to Bina along the path of Shin. And I feel this need in Hakma to express. Essential meaning must always express itself. And so it bursts forth from me, from Hakma, as essential meaning rushing, fiery rush over to Bina. Yes, rushing, flowing such a strong flow of essential meaning and it comes into Bina and it is suddenly form where there is form there is essential meaning where there is essential meaning there is form it's a natural consequence form is essential meaning expressing itself it is the expression of essential meaning and it is infinite in its variety the forms here are just infinite in their variety and their, their shape and their size and their color. And this realm is filled with forms. And I look up to Cather. Ah, and I release form. And I become I. 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 Where there is I, there is form. Where there is form, there is a central meaning. Where there is a central meaning, there is I. Oh, there is form. All forms express the essential meaning of I. Oh, I. And I look down to Hokma, and I express myself in Hokma as essential meaning. I am. I am. This is how I am as essential meaning. Oh, yes. And I rise back to Kether. <laughs> and the essential meaning is I. Where there is I, there is a central meaning. Always, where there's a central meaning, there is I. They go hand in hand. And one is not before the other. They all simply are. And I look down to Bina. Oh, yes, and I descend into form. Where there is I, there is form. Where there is form, there is I. It is all one, I, and form, and essential meaning. And I look over to Hokma. Oh, the great force of essential meaning coming from Hokma. And I climb against it, against that force. And slowly form dissipates. And there is only essential meaning. Where there is essential meaning, there is form. And where there is form, there is I. Where there is I, there is essential meaning. Ah, oh, all three together as one. All three together as one. I, essential meaning, form. I, essential meaning, form. Form, essential meaning. And I, we are all one thing. Mm, so be it. Oh, and I draw my awareness back out of Hawkma Crystal. Mm. And there is the simplest gate of them all, really. The first triangle is very simple and it's very cohesive, talking about how form and essential meaning and I are all mixed together. Where there is form, there is I. And where there is I, there is essential meaning. It is all one thing. Okay. So, that is a gate. Um, that's a very rapid working of a gate, mind you. Um, a gate can a gate takes longer in general than working just a single path. A more complex gate, the the quadrangle gate, 
is even uh, more involved, etc. So, next video will be a quadrangle gate, and that will be interesting. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye.